Hey scholars, it's good to be back with you. Today I'd like to show you how to import an image into MATLAB. Now there's images all around us. We take pictures all the time. I've got my little phone here. If I were to take a picture of my desk and the camera and everything, right there, got the picture, there. This is stored inside the phone, which is really just a computer. This is stored inside the phone as a matrix. Well, really three matrices because of the, the different color uh, separations. But if it's a matrix, I ought to be able to pull it into MATLAB, right? Well, you can, and it's not that hard. And the best thing is you can do basic image processing, I mean, to the point that you're actually like pushing pixels around in MATLAB. It's not hard to do, and it's pretty interesting. So let's try it. Okay, here we are in MATLAB now. I'm just to have it set on the desktop. That's the current folder. And we're going to need a picture to import. So I've selected this one. This is a picture of a Super Cub. This one's made by uh, Cub Crafters. The Super Cub is the world's most perfect airplane, so it's a, a good thing to work with here. First thing I want to do is I want to import it. So all i got to do is right-click there and say Import Data, because remember, a picture is just data. It's just digital data. It's just a matrix of numbers. Well, it's actually three matrices of numbers. So let's take a look at what I'm about to import here. So let's see, there's, there's the image file. There's how big it is, it's kind of big. And this class here, UINT8, unsigned integer 8-bit is what that stands for. So before I click finish to import it, I'm gonna make the name a little different. Uh, that's kind of a long name to, to work with. So I'm gonna just call it CC for Carbon Cub. So hit finish, and there it is. It's inside MATLAB now. I'm going to make this bigger now so we can just see the command window and uh, the workspace here. I'd like to make, make that a little smaller too. So it's here. How do I look at it? Well, there's a command called image, I-M-A-G-E, and there's a variation of it called image SC. And SC just stands for scaling. So it scales the image to fit the color map. Let's just try that. Image SC, CC. And there it is. Let me bring this down here so you can see it. There it is. Now it looks kind of funny. Huh. There's a problem here. The aspect ratio is all wrong. It looks kind of like a cartoon there. One of the things you can do in MATLAB is you could set the two axes, the X and Y axes, so that they are scale, scaled equally. Let's do that. So let's just say axis equal. Hit return. Let's pull that picture back up. Oh look, now this, the aspect ratio is correct. It doesn't matter how I rescale it. There we go. Axis is looking good. Now, one of the things you might notice here is the origin is in the top left. In fact, let's fix this here. This is kind of a goofy uh, scale it's picked. Let's type in just axis and see what I get. see what comes up here. There we go. That looks better. That's a little easier to look at now. When I typed in axis, what I got was the number of columns, x-axis there, right there I guess, and the number of rows. And for some reason it gave it a weird starting point. So I just fixed that. The thing to notice here is the origin is up here in the top left because the columns are numbered from left to right and the rows are numbered from top to bottom. So in a matrix, that's exactly how you'd number everything. Now, if you're making a plot, you'd normally want the axis to be on the bottom left. So just keep that in mind if you start working with images. You do have to make sure you know where the origin is. Now note that CC has 1,000 rows, 1,500 columns, and three layers. The reason it has three layers is that there's one layer for red, one layer for blue, and one layer for green. So you might have heard of RGB color. So that's red, green, blue. That's what that stands for. Well, could I look at one of those layers individually? Sure I could. Let's try that. There's image SC, CC. Now I'm going to take all the rows, all the columns. That's what those colons mean. That's a wild card. Let's just take a look at the first layer now. What would that look like? 
pull this back up. Hmm. Well, it looks kind of funny because it's trying to apply a color map to a matrix. It doesn't know that this is the red layer. In fact, I could change the color map if I want. Let's make it, there's a color map called Jet that I like. Well, there's Jet. Well, that doesn't help that much. There's another layer. And there's another layer. MATLAB doesn't know that these are individual layers. To MATLAB, these are just matrices. We can do anything we want with them. Well, let's try something. Let's make a grayscale. Let's try something. Let's just make this a monochrome image. So let's go back to looking at the entire whoops, image. Let's see, looking at the entire color image. There it is. And as before, let's make axis equal. this down here where we can see it okay so there it is uh, how would we do this well the temptation is just to say uh, color map gray now well, that doesn't work if we want to make this a true grayscale image we're going to have to do something to this thousand by fifteen hundred by three matrix we're going to need to turn it into a thousand by fifteen hundred by one so that MATLAB can uh, use the grayscale color map correctly and we'll get a grayscale image. Well, how do we do that? Well, it turns out there are a couple of, of algorithms for turning color images into grayscale images. One of them is to just average the, the three matrices out. So let's do that. I'm going to call this CG for gray. And I'm going to say CC. Take all the rows, all the columns of the first layer, plus all the rows, all the columns of the second layer, plus, same thing for the third layer here, and just divide by three. I definitely want that semicolon there. I do not want that echoed to the screen. So there it is. I've got something over here called CG. It's still an UINT8 uh, data type. Let's try this now. Oops, spell it right. And we'll do color map gray just to make sure it shows up right. There it is. Whoops, there we go. Let me fix this for you. Make this axis equal. Well, that looks horrible. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Well, what's wrong is I'm trying to do math with integer numbers. I got to convert CC into a floating point uh, format. So I want to want to go to double precision floating point so I can actually do a floating point math, not in not integer math. So how the heck are you going to do that? Let me clear the command window here, and I'm going to get rid of gray right now. Get rid of that. So the way we can do this, now there's a bunch of ways to do everything in MATLAB. I'm going to use a command called cast, C-A-S-T. And that's a generic command that converts data types from one to the other. So I'm going to make a, a phone variable called CF, floating point. C-A-S-T. I'm going to start with CC. And in single quotes, I'm going to write the word double. What that's going to do is that's going to make a matrix called CF that'll be 1000 by 1500 by 3, so 3D matrix, but it'll be a different type of data now. Now it'll be double precision floating point. There it is. Now let's try again. Let's see if I can make that grayscale. Oops, right there. Um, let's, instead of CC, we'll use CF. image sc there it is color map gray axis equal oh look that came out pretty nice now didn't it that looks much 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 better and the trick was to convert the image from a uint8 which is unsigned 8-bit integer to double precision floating point so i could do calculations with it 
that's probably enough for now. I hope this helps and we'll talk to you next time.